Sup guys, Heeking here, bringing you another live reaction to this month's Attack on Titan, and we are on chapter 133, so yeah, uh, last month, last month, wow, what a chapter, last month we left with the deaths of Flock and Hanji, and I did do my reaction there, I did post it, so I'm not gonna go over all the details, we know what happened, and it was depressing. Where we left off, uh, the characters, most of our characters got on the plane and are now heading to Eren. While the others are on a boat and yeah, the, the rumbling is still going on and everything is just chaos and death. So we're just going to get right into it, we're just going to go right into this chapter. And as always guys, remember to like and subscribe, whatever. Chill? No. You're seeing me now, so <laughs> let's, let's get to it. I nearly did a mistake there. Let's get to it. So the chapter is called Sinners. Oh, I wonder what that means. Okay, so immediately we're starting off on the plane, damn. And wow, there's a lot of ammunition on the back of this plane. Like, there's ropes and everything tied there keeping that up. Is that is that all missiles and bombs and shit? So on the... Where's my controller? So <laughs> I keep getting mixed up with right and left. You'd think, you'd think I would have learned by now. Alright, so... So on the left side, we've got Levi all bandaged up, sitting down with Peckhams and Rayna just, just sort of holding on and looking out, looking out the window. On the right side, we've got Mikasa and Jean Fees and just in his, in his head there, and Connie. I'm assuming uh, Armin is in the front, helping to fly the plane. Yeah, we're getting a close-up of, we're getting a close-up of our characters here now. Mikasa, Jean, Connie, no words are being said. Now we're cutting to the front of the plane, of the cockpit. Uh, looking at the altitude, and there's Con uh, Con Armin with a uh, 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 I keep saying that name wrong, don't I? I'm, cu I'm curious how he's going to be called in the uh, anime when it comes out. For the fuel, oh, yes, we were able to fill it halfway. Would it be enough to get to Port S Sol Sultan? Sultar? I will get us there no matter what. Oh, so the they're only halfway full, damn. So this plane is probably eventually going to crash land, potentially. This plane that Honji predicted is our last hope. I will reach the base at all costs. Let's do it. Please don't kill him off. Please don't, because I got I got a weird feeling that he's gonna properly like. Because I've been predicting someone's gonna suicide bomb the, the, the plane or Kamikaze style the plane or whatever, and I'm thinking it's gonna be him, like because Levi. I assumed at the time it was gonna be Honji and Levi maybe pulling that off, but like Levi's ready to fight with the. He even put on the ODM gear, so he, he's going to be involved in some action of sorts, so we can expect to see that, but Okabayu, man, he's only there to fly the plane, so what's going to happen when they have normal use for the plane, right? So please, stop the rumbling, no matter what it takes. I will. I'm counting on you. O Oya, Oyakupo. Oyakupo, his name is Oyakupo. Onyokupo. Try and remember that. Oyakupo. On your cupo, on your cupo, on your cupo. <sighs> it's hard, guys. It's hard. So chapter 133, sinners. So yeah, there's a uh, there's Raider turning around, facing our uh, Armin. Armin's coming in now. Shall we discuss our plan? So yeah, this plane's just. I, I keep forgetting this is a biplane technically. So yeah, it's just flying over the clouds. And they're going for the plans. They've. Are uh, they? Armin's even written a little sketch of a uh, of a. Uh, Aaron as the, as the giant ass titan like, he, he knows what he looks like. You guys have a good picture of Aaron's titan form, correct? Well, it's not really that detailed, but my point is that it looked like an insect with a lot of bones. It looked like an insect with a lot of bones with, with the front part being sort of like a marionette puppet basically being played. And there's Peckham's and Levi talking. If you think about it, the body would be in front of the spine. We can use ODM gear, but I doubt it will be successful. In other words, we don't know where Eren is. Even if we don't know where he is, it's possible to destroy it. Just like how you destroyed the port without a trace. Oh, she's bringing, she's bringing that back up. <laughs> it's, even if you have to use your colossal titan. So what, just to have Armin go through the front, find the front of where Eren is and just transform into the colossal titan and just blow Eren away. Is that their plan, basically? Just standing, sitting there looking exactly. That's the best option. Oh god, uh, Connie, Mikasa, and Juno give him that look, and Mikasa especially like, she's, she's shocked as hell. But first, I'll talk to Eren. But when there's no other option, 
I would use it as a last resort. So I kind of feel like this is sort of similar to a. Um, when Armin tried to talk to Berthold and then Berthold in the like it wouldn't work talking didn't work and then Berthold just tr transformed and blew everyone away and the fight started I'm thinking this is going to be similar to that except in a weird way the roles are reversed where Armin is now the colossal titan and he's the one choosing to talk to the Elnians if you will and uh, yeah he's just trying to he's going to try and talk to Aaron about stopping his plan but if it doesn't So Levi's talking now, Pekka's giving a look. I know there's no better way to solve this, but didn't Aaron activate the rumbling through Zeke? If we can kill Zeke first, will the rumbling stop? Oh, okay, so I've been saying for a while now that Zeke is probably inside Aaron's uh, attack titan, and if they can kill Zeke, maybe they can stop all of this. So it's, it's, it's interesting that someone's actually asking this question, like, because technically speaking, he's, he's the battery that's keeping all of this crap going. Like, you kill him and maybe you do shut off or control. Yeah, everyone, yeah, Connie, Jean, Mikasa and Armin are surprised by this question, like, yeah, maybe so. Back to Levi and Peckham's, there's no confirmation, but Hunchy suspected it, but I don't know where Zeke is. We just need to find where that dork shit is hiding the Titan, is hiding the Titan. I think that might be a translation error, is, I think it should say is hiding in the Titan, maybe. <laughs> I swear, I will, I will kill you with my power. Yeah, you kept making that promise, Levi, and you kept failing, okay? Like, seriously, like, let it go. It's it's clearly not going to work out, ever. <laughs> You're not going to kill Zeke, I think. Hey, so Gene's asking the... is not asking Levi a question. Hey, Captain, you know, I killed many of my comrades to get this boat going. It can't be a meaningless massacre. I know oh, Connie's just looking at him when he's saying this. I'll do everything to stop the rumbling. And now Rain is like, Gene... Connie's just closing his eyes. I think he's getting he's getting his moment to talk now. I guess that's what it means by sinners, maybe, because they've done a lot of cool shit just to get to this point. I I killed Samuel and Daz. I slaughtered my comrades while being told I'm a traitor or saying it's to save the world. Rainer, you Bertold Annie. It must have hurt. Oh, the realization. I've been waiting for this. The realization of what those three had to go through, knowing what they had to do, thinking there was the right thing. And now Connie and them lot have gone through it. Now it's like they've experienced that kind of pain. Like, and now they know what it feels like. They've been on the other side now, so to speak. It's already a sin that can't be. The rain is like saying this. It's, it's a sin. It's already a sin that can't be atoned. Even if we save humanity, we can never forgive ourselves. And he's saying, he's saying this to Connie, Eugene, and Mika son. Just Connie's crying, man. He's losing it. And now Rain has given him the shoulder touch. So, at least we can save the rest of humanity. Yeah, and Connie's looking up and Armin's listening. Sure. Oh, Connie's Connie's returning the gesture. He's like, sure, Rainer. We we can't atone, but we have to try. Yeah, Jean's Jean's turn now. Yeah, we're the same, Rainer. Oh God. I can't condemn you. I also killed to save others. Rain is having, Rain is having flashbacks to that moment where him and Aaron were in the basement, and 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 and, and Aaron and Aaron at that moment with him. I heard the same thing from Aaron on the night of the raid. I think I understand Aaron. Maybe Aaron wants us to stop him. Oh, that's interesting. I've been saying for a while now. Maybe this is all a ploy on Aaron's part, or maybe. Maybe Aaron is doing all of this crap, and uh, he, he, you know, it, it's like a two-way option. Either he's gonna complete the rumbling and destroy the world, or his friends will kill him. At which point, it doesn't really matter to him, whichever comes first. You know, maybe if they kill him, and and, and and it's the Eldians that save the world, maybe people will start to look at them in a good light. Like maybe there can be some sort of, I don't know, maybe can they, they maybe they can pull some something like they did in the uh, Legend of Korra, where like the Airbenders came back. And they decide to make themselves sort of like this uh, guardian of the world kind of thing instead of just being monks. Maybe this can be sort of like a thing where the Eldians come out and they're like, "Yeah, we don't want to, we don't want to go around doing all the crap that we did in, that our ancestors did, you know, uh, pillaging, raping, and doing all this crap. Like, we want, we want to be a force for good. So let us be a force for good. You know, let, let us be sort of like the police of the world or something like." Uh, you know, new, you know, make, 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 let us be. Like, I don't know, like uh, something positive maybe, like that can come out of this. I'm, with Hanji and McGuff both dead, really, like, I can't see how... I don't know, I can't see a good potential future coming out of all of this. I honestly think everyone on this plane is gonna die, 
I am expecting that. I am expecting that mist ending at this point. The way the story is going, I'm expecting all of these guys to die by the end of the story. But there has to be some sort of... Not even a happy conclusion. There needs to be some sort of bittersweet conclusion. There needs to be some sort of conclusion where it ends alright with the potential for it to potentially go either way of good or bad. But at least at this point in time, you know, these guys didn't die in vain, essentially. So... And Mikasa's like, what do you mean? No, I just thought, I, I, Armin, I wanted to. Eren can influence, and, uh, can influence all Eldians and Titans, yet we can still use our Titans without issues. Bit of Heckums. Eren could have potentially left us alone. Yeah, he's leaving us alone, like he's testing us, Mikasa. Why? We could stop the rumbling, Irena, even if he must be hurting. No one can phantom global genocide, at least not me. Now, he must want to pass on the founder. If he could, he wouldn't want it all to end. Someone, and Rain is getting up and he's looking at everyone. He's looking at Levi, <laughs> back up. Everyone just staring at him. By someone, what does that mean by someone, huh? Because it's just like, huh? And Well, that was unexpected. Uh, they're in the past dimension suddenly. They're all in the past dimension, except for Oya, uh, Oya Kupo. He's not there because he's not Eldian. But uh, Connie, Jean, Mikasa, Armin, Levi, Peckham, Reyna. The way they're all standing right now in the plane, or uh, were sitting in the plane, they're now standing in that same sort of uh, direction in the in the past. And there's the big giant light tree, wherever going up into the air. Mikasa, Armin are just shook up. But yeah, because this is the second time now, because uh, the, the first time was when Aaron sent the message, so this is the second time they're in here. So they're in paths now, uh, interesting. Are we going to get some sort of fight with Armin and Aaron in the paths dimension? On to the next part. So yeah, that was, uh, that was a doozy, uh, let's go for it. Uh, yeah, these guys are confused as hell. Again, this is, what was he, what? Uh, Levi, what? Was he listening? Was he listening? What, did, can Aaron hear them? Can Aaron hear what they're saying? And Armin's like, Aaron, please listen. <laughs> He's calling him out. Stop now. No one will touch paradise for centuries after this. You've shown enough terror and destruction. We can sign a neutrality pact with this. No one has to die anymore. The island is safe. We're at fault here. We drove Aaron to this and... Who's saying this now? Oh, I think, Con oh, no, I think Connie is saying this maybe or... No, I think Connie just said that and now, and now Jean's talking. Aaron. Please leave the rest to us. Please don't murder for our sake. It's just he's, he's crying, yeah. Aaron, I hated you when Sasha died, but you must have been grieving too. But I only thought about myself. Okay, so Armin, Jean and Connie have had their moment. I think it's Mikasa's turn. Aaron, I want to share your burden. I committed the same crimes as you, so please stop ignoring us. Oh man, she's, she's having a moment here, so please come back. Levi's turn. Yeah, Aaron. I'll only kick your ass if you don't stop now. Hey, say something. A sad man that his comrades are trying to just get through to him. And uh, Armin's just screaming. No answer, Aaron. And now, now I think. Oh, he is talking to them like a voice in the wind, man. He's like talking. Uh, I can't imagine what this will be like if it's animated in the anime, man. It will be like God talking to them, or, or similar to the scene with with Moses and the fiery bush. Because that's what I'm thinking of when I'm seeing this right now. Like, I can't stop the rumbling. I can't gamble Paradise's future. I'm going to keep moving forwards. What? Um, and Levi's just pointing there there and they're all looking and from the uh, tree from the light tree wherever there's there's Aaron in his and they're all running to him shouting his name Mikasa at the front Aaron he's in his child form what Gene he's a kid Armin even so that's Aaron Mikasa sees him he's, she sees that kid that she needs to remember Aaron Gene what do you mean you can't you don't trust us Armin why didn't you let us news our Titans why? Oh, why did you let us use our tines? We can talk here. Tell us. We were always together. I don't want to be further away, further apart. Aaron. And they're still running towards the light, towards him. I took the world's freedom to achieve my own. But I won't steal yours. You are free. Oh, man. 
Oh man. Uh, he's given his friends and even his enemies, for Christ's sake, the choice. He's given them a choice. He could stop them. He could stop them if he wanted to, but he's given them a choice. Your freedom to save the world. My freedom to keep moving forward. And they're getting there and they stop now. And there's Aaron is with someone. If neither steps down, we would collide. This is like an unstoppable force meets an immovable object. And Mika and Omen are looking in there. There's Aaron, there's young Aaron with uh, Yamir, uh, you know, the, the real Yamir. There is only the option to fight. Oh man, they both look similar. What the hell is going on? I'm wondering if Aaron is taking Yamir's place in the path dimension now. Think about that, like, they look similar. And the fact that he's in his kid's form, like, what is going on there? Why is he not showing up as his present self? Why is it as a child? I read an interesting theory that someone said, that someone suggest suggested saying that perhaps, perhaps uh, Aaron's real body is dead now. Like, when he transformed into a big giant thing, it basically, it ended. Like, because remember, when Aaron got shot by Gabby, his head was flying. And then his spine came out, whatever, to attach to it. Or, or, or it came up from the head essentially so technically speaking there, there, there was no body to to regenerate from because he instantly transformed into that bloody giant thing in it uh, so maybe Aaron's body is really dead but his spirit his mind whatever lives on in the past dimension and that's why he show, shows up as a child there so everyone's looking at him there and uh, um, Arben's just like no so why why did you bring us here to tell you that there is no need to talk. Oh man, Aaron just looks creepy, like the old blackened out eyes. The only way to stop me is by ending my life. You are free to do so. And uh, back to the present. Huh? What? What happened here? Oh, 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 flying the plane. I think, yeah, he got shook up a bit, like, and he's looking up and, oh, it's because they fell, I think. Mikasa just fell on the ground from her chair. Uh, Armin is still on the floor, Peckham is uh, uh, trusting herself, Levi just like sitting down normally holding the seat, Jean back there holding like that like like annoyed and, and just Connie looking off and Raina just just sweating and looking at his hands like I think they're all sweating I think. Raina I think I was right. Uh, I think I was right. Is Jean is it over? And Levi it seems like we can't bargain. What now Captain? I was just looking at him like, yeah, you can't bargain, it's done now. Um, and now we're cutting to the ship. Oh, I guess Annie and uh, Gabby and Dunlop aren't done yet. What's gonna happen here? Where are we going? So Annie's with uh, Kiyomi. They're talking on the uh, railing on the balcony. We arrive at Hizura in a few days. I can't believe Mikasa is trying to stop the rumbling, but I doubt Hizura is running fine. I guess I'll be eating only fish for a while, so I was saying that. Hizura's fish cuisine is a delicacy. That's good. I could eat birds right now. Hmm. She's looking a bit sad. I helped Zeke and Aaron meet. There is probably no way to atone for this slaughter. So yeah, sinners. Sinners. Everyone is a sinner in their own way. Reyna did horrible shit. Annie did horrible shit. Kiyomi's done horrible shit that, are, that contributed to this. Gene did horrible shit, killing his comrades, same with Connie, same with Mikasa, same with Armin, they've all, they've all done horrible crap, so I guess I get what this chapter is referring to when it's called Sinners, it's all of these guys pretty much reflecting on the crap that they've done, on the sins they've committed, and now, having to, basically, these, these guys who've committed such atrocities, working together to stop this bigger atrocity being commit by, committed by error, basically. Then, if Hizura lives through this, Will you feign ignorance about paradise? Time won't wash away our sins, but I can't just sit on my regrets. A future for Odia. I will de do everything I can to protect it. Oh man, Kiyomi, man, like, weird. O originally, I think she wanted to get the resources, but now she's like, she wants to protect it. I lived prioritizing the prosperity of the tribe and the family overall. Strange. We don't realize it until it's gone. With that more important than profit and loss is respect for others. Oh man, Kiyomi grew in just a few short chapters. 
she grew from the person we knew before, man. And Annie's remembering her dad. She's remembering her warrior comrades, and she's remembering her soldier comrades. Oh man, crazy how many of these people are dead. There's Marcel, there's Porkin, Clark, Colt. Beckham's still alive, Raina there, Berthold. Her eyes are open when she remembers this, and now she closes them and remembers the others. <laughs> there's there's Annie getting chased by... What the hell's going on here? There's Berthold and Raina, and uh, Berthold looks a bit sad. Raina's smiling, and there's Sasha and Connie uh, with, with, a, with frogs and insects chasing her, and there's Jean and, Ma uh, and Marco looking at her weirdly, and I think that's Mikasa and Armin maybe in the background, could be wrong. And there's, there's Armin giving her the high five and Annie's talking up, but it's too late. And there's Gabby and Falco next to her. Miss Annie, I, I had a dream. Dream? Uh, Galliards? Oh, is he seeing uh, uh, Pork Porkin's memories? Zeke's dream or memory? No, Gabby, you said the female titan can mimic another titan's power by eating a part of them, right? Can it? Well, the female didn't have, didn't really have anything special, so we just experimented to hell. But why? She didn't have anything special, so she experimented to hell. Does it explain how why she's got hardening? Because um, she got it from Raina from eating a piece of him, perhaps. And now, now Gabby and Falcon are all having this weird conversation. Yes, then, then maybe this could work. No way. What's going on? Shut it, you kids. Move Coil if you have nothing to do. Move Coil if you... Ugh. Wait, you saw Zeke's memories? Yeah, I became a Titan from Zeke's spinal fluids, so I, I inherited some of the Beast Titan's traits. Okay, so... Wait. Did... No, because Gabby didn't drink the wine, so why is, why is the arrow pointing to Gabby? So I inherited some of the Beast Titan's traits. How... It should, it should be Porco saying that. A bit of a mistake there. Okay, so... The memory I recall the best is flying above the clouds, and I can do that too. I feel it deep within me. Seriously? Falcom just had a dream about being able to fly over the... Oh, we're gonna get a flying titan, aren't we? We're getting a flying titan, okay? This shit's been this shit's been foreshadowed since the beginning of the Marlene arc, okay? It started with Falco waking up, looking at an eagle, flying over the battlefield. Uh, Mads Mikkelsen's uh, inspired uh, uh, Marlene Colonel character saying, you know, that something about titans flying. That whole opening chapter with titans flying out of the air. The kid's name being Falco, for Christ's sake, and him looking like a freaking Falcon without wings. Uh, and him having him now saying revealing that he's inge he ingested some of the beast titans fluid so maybe wait a minute is this how Aaron got the uh, armor titans is this how they got the armor the titan a bit but it, guys remember during the uprising arc when Aaron found uh, found that vial by Rod Rice and it had armor written on it and he drank it and he suddenly got like the armor abilities did they take spinal fluids from like previous owners and then they just took it with them and whoever like dr drank those elements, they could get, they could gain the ability. So if you're telling me if you, if you gained uh, the Beast Titan Spinal Fluid and drank it as a Titan Shifter, you could gain some of the abilities, perhaps, or you, you could gain uh, some of the abilities from the Colossal Titan, or, or do you know what I mean? Is this, is this supposed to ex explain that? Is this how it came to be? Because I'm thinking that's what they're going for. I can do that. I feel it deep within me. Weird, man. So, uh. <laughs> Is Falcom gonna turn into a flight? Yeah, yeah, he's definitely. They're setting it up. It's clearly gonna happen. The the clean. Are they gonna ride on his back or something? Like <laughs> next this part, chapter, man. This chapter's just been all talking and stuff. But like, it's been interesting conversations. Like, Kiyomi, what's the matter? So there was a winged beast titan in the past. Y yeah, your yeah, your titan looked like a bird, unlike Mr. Gulliard's jaw. So we. Ah, is that why he looked like the looked like a freaking falcon, like a bird, basically, because because of the beast titan uh, traits? Is that why? Because he looked so weird. I mean, they all looked. I mean, Ymir's titan looked weird. Jaw titan looked weird. Polkan's jaw titan looked weird. But 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 uh, Falco's titan just looked completely different from all the other two that we've had so far. So so we will go. And he just. She's getting shocked, like, wait, what are you saying? You're going to transform here? We'll all die if the ship can't hold the weight. More, more importantly, we can't bring back what's lost. It's too late, Miss Lionheart. I don't care if the ship sinks. Oh, 
I don't want to deepen my regrets. Wow, man, Gabby and Falcom are looking at her, Annie's looking at her. Wow, man. Uh, so, is Kiyomi gonna die? Are, are they gonna die, or are they just gonna be? Wouldn't the, wouldn't wouldn't the sea and the water be boiling hot right now from all the colossal titans that have entered it, or would it still be normal? I mean, what's it doing for the environment, right? Then again, if you think about it, when 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 we saw Eren transform into a titan, there were flowers and shit growing, so maybe it's good for the environment. <laughs> Okay, so we're cut into this desert base. Uh, is it a desert base? I don't know. It's like mountains. There seems to be some sort of town above. It's weird. It's like a, it's like a mountain, but it's it's there's clearly like a, a round road going around, and at the top you can see like a house or a tower or something. So this is Fort Salta. Are there really airships here? Oh no, there's a train. There's train tracks. There's train tracks that go all the way there. That's not a road. That's train tracks going around this mountain basically and across the desert. We won't know until we get up that mountain. Do you really plan to flee using the airships? So there's a guy controlling the train and there's some dude. Is that Annie's dad? It's Annie's dad. He's, he's behind this dude and he's got a rifle pointed at him. You Eldian scum. Watch your mouth, Malian. It's thanks to who it's thanks to who that you're not flattened under the rumbling. It's thanks to who that you're not flattened under the rumbling? Oh, he's asking a question. So now we're cutting. What is this? I f okay, so we're cutting to him in a, in a, in a carriage with, with families, basically. If there's no hangar, your families die from the rumbling. If you betray, we'll kill you. This is the only way for all of us to survive. So these are Eldians and Marlians mixed together in the carriage. It doesn't matter if the chances are low. We are surviving this. Yo, so so some of the Marlians and Eldians are from, from, from the camp in Termin Zones escaped onto a train. So yeah, it's the it's. I think this is Gabby's. Fa I think it's Rain and Gabby's family. Don't worry, Mr. Brown. Uh, my son is strong. My son is strong. So she's with Colt and Raina in paradise. Oh, is this is this Falco's family? And they're talking to Raina's. They're talking to Gabby's family. <laughs> Our child is on the Devil's Island. She won't make it. We could have been together in our last moments if it wasn't for the Warrior Program. And there's Raina's mother looking at them. So sad. She's looking at a uh, Marlian band. Rainer. Who's this dude? This is some young kid talking to some dude. Mr. Finger, just throw away that armband. Oh, this was the dude looking at the armband. This. Oh, this. This is Annie's. Is this. This is Annie's. I think Annie's father. I'm not sure, is it? Mr. Finger, no. But he's saying. This is what my daughter earned after sacrificing everything for me. Yeah. So I think this is Annie's father. So, so, so this was some other Eldian with the gun. Sorry, guys. And the kid, the guy's looking at the train. So they're heading to Fort Salta, which is in Marlene, I think, uh, on a train, and they're, they're going to try and get on the airships there. Okay. The kids, they, this kid, this Eldian kid's looking out the train window. And he's like, uh, "Hey, look." So now we're getting a shot. We're getting a shot of the of the airships, and they're in the air already. What the hell's going on? And the the, pipe, the, the guy driving the no, the airships are leaving. And the other guy behind, damn it, hurry! There will be spare airships. I know. We're done for. Hey, that that smoke. Oh god, the smoke's coming. They can see the smoke, and it's near. Jesus. And there's Aaron with his colossal titans leading the charge. Jesus, it's the rumbling. It caught up in the end. It's here. Can't you speed up? Wait. Those airships. It's heading towards the Titans. Oh. Are they going to drop nukes or whatever on them? What are you saying? We might be saved. It's a bombing fleet. Yeah, that. Are they? No. They're not dropping bombs yet. No. But it, it's, it's a bunch of airships approaching them. It's a bombing fleet. They're going to blast the Titans to smithereens from above. As the end approaches, total war begins. And this last shot, the last, the last panel is basically of the airships above Eren's attack Titan and the colossal Titans and the rumbling essentially. And that's it. Wow. And that chapter ends on that note. As the end approaches, total war begins. So this is it. This is, I'm assuming, the final battle. Then the airships are going to try and slow down or destroy the. Uh, Colossal Titans, and I guess at this point we're gonna see, we're gonna see what Eren's Attack Titan can do in that form. 
I'm honestly curious if those spine spikes can shoot out because I'm thinking they can. I'm thinking he's gonna surprise the shit out of us, like, and he's, those things are just gonna be flying and blowing the airships out of the w sky. And then we've got the we've got the biplane coming with, with those guys on it. Uh, I can see them maybe getting caught in the crossfire and, and having to dodge the bombs or whatever, or getting shot at and getting and having to crash land. And Annie, 100% Annie is going to be flying on the back of uh, Falco. <laughs> like, he's going to be coming in and he's probably going to be diving through the... Oh my god, this is going to go freaking crazy. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I can't see how ECO is going to pull, because it, it, it sounds ridiculous when I'm saying it. you got the biplane, you got, you're going to have uh, Falco flying with Annie properly on his back. Uh, you're going to have, like, all this crazy shit in the, in the sky action happening all at once, and you've got Aaron down below, and you, you're going to have... You're gonna have Mikasa, Armin, Jean, Levi uh, do, doing some next 3D maneuver shit for all of this, like, or maybe they're gonna be using the airships to like uh, grab onto stuff to like go across and that like and drop down and attack from above. Like, oh my god, the scenarios I'm imagining in my head for the action sequences that could potentially happen right now is it, it's crazy, it's crazy. But uh, holy crap, there's there's no way. <laughs> I need to calm down a bit. There's no way this manga is ending in two chapters. Okay, the assumption. The assumption was this manga was going to end by this year, but uh, 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 next next chapter would be would be the end of volume. We're on volume thirty two now, aren't we? Or is it volume? Oh god, what volume are we on? We're on volume. I think we're on volume thirty three. I could be very very wrong though. We're on volume. We're on volume 33. Holy crap! We're on volume 33. So potentially, next month, next chapter will be the end of volume 33, and then with chapter 135, would be starting volume 34, which could be, which most likely will be the final chapter. Sorry, and that means that the manga could potentially end in. It won't end in March because it's only five chapters. Uh, sorry, four chapters pre pre manga pre manga volume. So yeah, this could easily end by early next year, but uh, damn, next month is going to be the end of this volume, and it's going to be crazy to see what's going to happen. I'm, 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 I imagine we are going to see 100%. We're going to see Falco transform, and we're going to see his flying time form. Like after all the build up since the Marlene arc, I'm, I'm wondering if there was more build up since then. I mean, I think we have seen a bird though, because when the when the when the story first started, the very first chapter, I think Eren opens his eyes and he sees a bird in the sky. Maybe right? I could be wrong. But uh, we didn't get foreshadowing of a flying titan until until when, until that first chop in the Marlene arc. So uh, yeah, it, it's it's crazy that it, it's it's clearly going in that direction. Uh, and it's interesting the whole concept of uh, you know as a titan shifter you can t you can take a piece of another titan shifter and, and gain its abilities like that. So I'm wondering like how that how that works. I mean could could could. Could you could could Armin get in there and maybe just take a buyout of Eren or something and and, bec and become the founding titan perhaps as well? Like what 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 would happen then? You've got two people with the coordinate inside them. Like oh my god, the the, the possibilities, man. Like is this seriously, this was a this was a good human chapter. It, it was a chapter. It was it, it was a slow chapter. Yes. It was a heavy talking chapter, but it was a necessary chapter because it's it's about the characters reflecting on their sins. Uh, it's the aftermath after Hanji's death, and it's 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 basically the prelude to this ending of this battle that's now going to happen. Like this is this is Marlene right now uh, having a last ditch attempt at stopping this, and then you've got the other heroes coming in to try and stop this. It's all basically coming full circle now. Like all the all the characters, all all the story beats are colliding at this point. Like I can definitely see Annie coming into this and, and saving her dad's life and that, and and Reyna having to save his mom's life, his family's life, Gabby and all of them. Like it's it's getting it's coming to a head basically. It's all coming to a head, and it looks like Fort Sumter is going to be this final field of battle essentially. So this is crazy, man. This is freaking crazy, and I can't wait to read next month's chapter like the weight is insane the weight is always insane I mean what's the it's the eighth wow wow I mean oh god oh god I just want to read the next chapter already like I hate waiting I hate waiting but hey at least at least at least it's not like berserk <laughs> oh god oh god Isayama man, he keeps he keeps pulling it. 
And speaking of the final uh, season for the anime as well, apparently that is coming out in December apparently and it's not going to be split into cores so there's not going to be like a, 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 a a delay we're gonna we're gonna be getting the episodes fully out from 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 December to next year but the big question now remains is how many episodes are we gonna get and there's there's rumors that we're getting short episodes which is very bad news for, for fans like us especially if the Marlin because that means the Marlin arc could get ripped to shreds or the final arc is gonna get ripped to shreds I don't know I'm, I'm I'm hoping we get 25 to 30 episodes to give it a nice balance of the arcs because the final arc right now is the longest arc in the series right now. It's it's six it's six volumes in and potentially going to seven. Anyway guys, that was my reaction to Attack on Titan chapter 100 favorite free sinners. Uh, as always, like and subscribe wherever and I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and bye. Cut off. I'm waiting for the camera to go off. I'm waiting to see how far it goes. Go on. Still going, wow. Usually it cuts off at 12 minutes.